The Wooly Bugger is arguably the most versatile streamer pattern, and possibly even fly, ever created. The Grizzly and White version is great for use as a baitfish imitator. We will start by adding a bead to our hook. An easy way of doing this is putting the bead flat in your hand. The hook I am using today is a size 10 Daiichi 1750, but any 3 or 4x long streamer hook will do. To give the fly a bit of extra weight, I like making 10 to 15 wraps with a .015 size lead wire. Push the wire up into the bead head to stabilize the bead. Now start your thread wraps behind the lead wire. Use a finer thread, 70 or 140 denier works well. Make many wraps around the lead wire to smooth it out. Then bring your thread back to just shy of the bend of the hook, and add some head cement to keep the materials from twisting. While not necessary, I like adding some pearl crystal flash at this point. One strand cut in half twice will produce four small strands perfect size for the fly. Tie the bunch in at the center, then fold it over on itself and tie that side in as well. Now measure out some white marabou about the length of the hook shank. Transfer that measurement to your other hand and tie it in so it engulfs the crystal flash. Then cut off the excess and smooth out the cut section. Now tie in another bit of crystal flash in the same manner as before. However, this time make sure it's on both sides of the marabou. The next step is to attach a bit of small wire. I like attaching it on the opposite side of the fly to keep it out of my way. Then we will add some white chenille and wrap our thread all the way up to the bead. Then proceed to wrap the chenille up the hook shank closely until you reach the bead head. Secure it with a few wraps and cut off the tag end close. Now select a piece of appropriate size grizzly hackle from your cape. Measure the hackle feathers against your hook, then cut the feather at the measurement and prepare it for tying in. For more information on preparing hackle feathers, click the hackle link at the top of the video. Attach the prepared feather right behind the bead with a few tight wraps and cut off the excess. Make two wraps against the bead head and separate the feathers if you need. Then start to palmer the hackle down the hook and stop right before the end of the chenille. While still holding your hackle in place, grab the wire with your other hand. Wrap the wire over the hackle in the opposite direction, wiggling it to keep it from trapping the hackle fibers. This will also hold the hackle on the hook better and keep the fly more durable. Then capture the wire with a few tight wraps and helicopter the wire off. Then trim off the extra hackle and finally, whip finish your fly with multiple wraps. And there you have it, a finished bead head grizzly woolly bugger. This is a popular and effective streamer that can be used for many species of game fish. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now, go catch some fish.